Hey guys, so I hope you guys can hear me well. I'm getting ready to make a no meat lasagna roll. And inside of my lasagna roll, I'm going to have spinach, mushrooms, cauliflower, ricotta, cream cheese. This is moderate and mozzarella um, that I had my daughter shred. And then we have our lasagna noodles. So that's basically the basics of what you need. And you will season this as you desire um, when creating it. Some people like seasoning, some people don't. So I'm gonna give you all the basics, which is this. So what I'm getting ready to do now is chop up the spinach, chop up these mushrooms, and chop up the cauliflower. And I'm going to kind of saute it just a little bit, let it kind of sweat in a pan just to get these a little bit more, excuse me, a little bit more um, uh, softer. So that way the process in the oven doesn't take as long. So this is something I recommend if you want this to go a little bit quicker is um, shredding up everything and then kind of letting it sweat on a, in a pan and letting it um, get a little soft and then making your mixture to roll your um, lasagna in. Okay, so let's get started guys. First thing first guys, you wanna put a big pot of water on and I add a little bit of salt. I don't recommend oil if you're using cheeses or any sauces you want to stick. And the next step is going to be to rinse off your spinach. I do not care if they say it's washed, your girl still washes it and I recommend you do the same. So now what I'm going to do is take the mushrooms and dice them up really small and then after that I'm going to proceed to dice up and break up. With my hand it's easier to do with the um, cauliflower. It's a little bit different from broccoli. You can literally break it apart and it crumbles and makes your life so much easier. I promise. So that's what I'm going to do is basically crumble that up. So basically and then I'm going to be rinsing this all off. So don't you worry, I'm going to be rinsing it again. You will see. All right, guys, watch and enjoy. So I'm going to um, season this a little bit with your salt and pepper and saute it a little bit just to get these cauliflowers to cook a little bit for me. I'm trying to break them up as small as I can inside the pot. And then I'm getting ready to put my lasagna noodles in. Those rinse. So let me get this mess cleaned up. And now we have our water getting ready to boil. So you can actually put them in now and stand them up and press them in later as they get softer. Being that I'm gonna be able to have a lot of time to keep these in the oven, I don't even have to um, cook these first because these cauliflowers and everything will cook inside the sauce because they're so small. So I'm getting ready to just add my seasoning and my seasoning will be some pink Himalayan salt. some pepper I love pepper <laughs> parsley garlic and onion powder let me get my garlic and onion powder and some basil those are the seasonings, sorry guys, that I'm gonna be using. Having this light in here trying to make it bright for y'all is really a struggle. Oh, and some onion powder, and some garlic powder. Put a lot of that in there. Now, in my other bowl, I'm going to mix my cream cheese and most of this together in another bowl. Oh, bless me. Okay, so that is that. So now we're going to take this. Cream cheese is the main thing I want in there, so we're going to put that in there first. We're going to get this little spoonula in. I'm going to incorporate most of this. We're going to try to, I didn't want to bring out my mixer. <laughs> I wanted to do this by hand. may have to, may have to, we shall see. Oh, wait, maybe not. Probably should have did a bigger bowl, but basically you want to cream the cream cheese together with the um, 
what will make it easier for you is if you leave your cream cheese out. I didn't, so that's why it's a little bit of a struggle. Not too much. It'll cream together. Not too much, but yeah. So I wanted to make sure this is all incorporated as such. And we're going to put this in that mixture. Once so we get it incorporated, the cream cheese just does something to the lasagna. So, to keep it binded, you want to add one egg. Because you don't really want it to fall apart. So, I'm going to add my egg in here. Because I like to see my egg before I use it. I'll probably actually do one more because this is going to be a lot. Oops, I don't like that white stuff. This will be a lot. So, stick that over there. I'm going to blend this with the fork. Let's see. Get all this cream cheese and ricotta mix real well. to the big bowl and then add our cheese. Still gotta add spinach. cooking these first these are going to shrivel up and hardly be anything so I want to get them as small as I can so the pieces will be incorporated in my lasagna now my lasagna noodles fell down in the bowl so you guys I mean in the pot so you guys can see that so now I'm going to just shift them a little bit so they all can be inside the pot and I'm going to be taking them out a little bit you don't want to cook them all the way because you want to be able to roll them and you don't want them too too flimsy so those are going to be coming out in just a bit so back over here i'm so sorry this is so awkward guys and then being that i can't voice over i have to try to get everything right because i can't go back and back and fix it i cannot go back and fix it so this is a no meat lasagna roll with cauliflower mushroom and spinach so now we're going to incorporate some cheese the rest of the cheese will go on top this is what we're doing we're going to incorporate some cheese and this is what's going to go i need some more pepper i love me some pepper y'all <laughs> So now we're going to make this sauce a little bit tasty and flavorful by adding a quarter cup of Parmesan to the sauce in a bowl with some garlic powder and some onion powder. That is it. Nothing special, nothing fancy. Being that it's not from scratch sauce, it just, you know, makes it a little bit tastier. So let's move on to the next step. All right, guys, after you have that sauce all tasty and flavorful, you're going to ladle a couple spoonfuls of it in the bottom of your dish, your casserole pan, whatever you choose. This prevents the noodles from sticking to the bottom when they are baking. So make sure you do not miss this step. All right, it's time to add your filling. Make sure that when you add your filling and roll it up, you have the open side face down into the sauce of the pan, guys. Let's continue rolling. 
when I tell y'all this is so simple and so tasty they will never know if you wanted to add chicken you can do so you can use the same recipe and just add chicken instead of the cauliflower or the mushrooms if you don't like them but promise you they did not even know it did not have meat in it it is that good so guys they are all rolled up I had like three shells which you will see that were extra so I just laid them over the top nothing major so all I'm gonna do here is I am going to be adding the sauce and the cheese to the tops of these so we can get them in the oven now being that this is not a regular lasagna this is more of a creamy styled lasagna roll you want to put the cheese down first and then put the sauce on top so the sauce is covering the cheese giving it moisture so that it melts really smooth and creamy and not dry out so guys i let this cook in the oven for about an hour and i wanted to see the cheese melting and you're getting just a tad bit of golden brown where the cheese met the pan and you know it's bubbling and it is done because it doesn't really take a long time for cauliflower or mushrooms to cook because granted everything is basically done it's all vegetables it's not meat so you really don't have to worry and the pasta was al dente so it doesn't take much longer for it to be fully cooked so guys let me dig in and let me show you after i let this sit for about 15 20 minutes how tasty it looks so we have set for about 15 to 20 minutes and i'm getting ready to dig in and make a plate the only thing that i said in this video i didn't like is when i laid the pasta over the top of it i couldn't see the rolls so i had to kind of lift it just to see the rolls under so i can you know give each person so many rolls that they wanted but yeah i wouldn't suggest you putting the pasta on the top i just didn't want to waste it guys so that's why i did it but yeah i'm gonna plate this and then i'm gonna dig in and show you how tasty it looks. Like. dig in here to get these out oh 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 yes lord and this is supposed to go on top of it so we'll just put that back on top and i'm gonna get a fork this is gonna be the hubby plate. Um, hold on one second, y'all. Well, I'm gonna. This is actually gonna be mine since I'm digging in it. Ooh, it's hot. See everything nice and tender in there. The cauliflower and everything. Ooh. Ooh, I know this is hot. Ooh, I'm going out of the camera. Yeah. Could y'all see it? And I. Okay. Oh, my chi cheese. Hold on. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me try it. Mmm. Mmm. Ain't no need for no meat. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Hope you guys enjoy. Gotta try this meatless lasagna rolls. You can do it. Try it. Later, Gators.